Okay, so here's a puzzle that I just did in Jamboard, as you can see. If you're interested in kind of learning how I did this, uh, this is my process. First thing I did was I searched for an image on Google that was supposed to be a 16 by 9. I don't know if this image actually ended up being a 16 by 9 because it didn't quite fit my Jamboard, or maybe the Jamboard is not a 16 by 9. But either way, uh, I found my image that I wanted. You might have to play around with that just a little bit. Uh, I copied the image from Google and then I pasted it into a Google drawing. And uh, it looked like this, but without all of the lines on it. And then what I did was on a different drawing, I made a bunch of lines like this one. Uh, so I just took a line and I drew it across. And then after I was done drawing my lines, I just did a control A for a copy. And then I pasted them over the picture. Obviously I ended up using less lines here because uh, it just ended up being too much and the, the puzzle would have been even more difficult and would take a long, longer for me to make as well. So I pasted the lines on there. And then the next step that I had to do was I took screenshots of just each individual square. I'm on my Chrome base, which is basically a big Chromebook. So to do that, you just do control shift plus the little button above the six key that looks like a box with two lines to the right of it. And when you click that, your screen darkens and then you can select just a certain area of the puzzle. So I did that uh, 12 times. So I got each picture, each each little bit of the picture. And then I went into a new uh, Jamboard and I inserted 12 pictures basically. So right here, I went to that button, I clicked browse, and then my 12 pictures were the, the 12 most recent pictures on my Chrome base here. So I just went one through 12 and I inserted them. Uh, I would suggest that either you do it that way and then do what I'm gonna show you next or uh, insert them at random. Um, if you do insert them at random, then you can skip this next step. So once I imported the pictures, they were all kind of just stacked on top of each other right here in the middle. And the problem with just leaving them that way is that if the students figure out the pattern, it might be easier for them to solve the puzzle, depending on how hard you want to make it. So you can actually change the order of the pictures by clicking on them and then clicking the three little dots right here that come up. And then you can change the order. So this one happens to be on the, in the front. So all I can do with it is send it backwards, or I can send it, send it all the way to the back, the very bottom of the pup, the the stack of pictures. If it's kind of somewhere in the middle, you can do bring the front or bring it forward. And then that just messes up the order a little bit. And then what I would do is either make an individual copy of this for all my students, or uh, maybe just duplicate the slide by clicking this right here, maybe duplicate it 20 times. And then you can have say uh, 20 students working on this jam at once, or maybe you could have them uh, working in pairs, uh, two people on each slide or whatever, and then they can solve your puzzle. Uh, hopefully this helps. If this is something you want to do or you need further help, just drop a question or a comment in the comment section. And if you want this particular uh, Jamboard uh, puzzle, this free to call it one, you can have it. It'll be linked in the description of this video. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe for more if you want more Teach Tech videos. Hasta luego.